Hey, how doing, Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Wu Long Fallen Dynasty boss guys. Today we are going to be taking on Yuji, and it's going to be this old man that's been showing up. Uh, this fight's actually pretty, pretty freaking easy. He barely has any HP, so yeah. Here are my stats and equips. If you guys are curious on what level I am and what I have equipped, and yeah, basically it takes like about two parries and a few hits, and this guy goes down on first phase. There are two phases. So, let's go over the attacks for first phase a little bit. I want to touch upon this elemental attack he has. So he has the ice shards. This one just kind of shoots slowly. You can dodge side to side or parry it. But make sure you keep an eye on the boss. You don't want the ice to be shooting you from the back. There's two versions. There's that one and then there's this quick one right here. For the lightning attack, you can either block it or you can parry through it like this. And for the acid attack, same deal as the lightning attack and parry or block it. For the earth attack, there's two versions, this is one quick one, and then there's uh, one that c continuously chase you, so you can either parry, block, or just run around the map to avoid this. And here's the fire throw, it's pretty much the same as the acid throw, except it doesn't linger. Moving on to the red attack, he has this red grab, be careful because this can potentially one-shot you, it can one-shot me at this at my current level. So as you see his arm flash, like his hand flash, just get ready to counter. And then after that, you can get some few hits in and your heavy blow. Another red attack and do is this one where he just zooms towards you after he flies up towards the sky. You parry, get a few shots in, get your heavy blow, and that's how you deal with that. The spirit bomb, you can just send it back, but don't bother with any follow-ups. Okay, so here's the actual fights. He starts off the fight different every time, so he's doing the, uh, the earth attack here. We're just going to run around to avoid that. Red flying in attack, parry it. I was doing uh, the grab, so I'll parry that after the hand flashes, get a few hits in. Stunned, crits, he's half dead. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Lightning attack, parry through that. Ice attack, this continuous one, we're just gonna kinda strafe around. You can parry it if you want to. Acid attack, watch out for the linger if you don't parry it. All his sword attack, you can straight up block it. Here's the spirit bomb, when it flashes. Get ready to counter and just send it back. Alright, flying red attack. Parry, who hits it, and first phase done. Now I want to talk a little bit about the second phase. So, it also has an elemental attack. This acid attack is basically like the, the ground attack it has in first phase. So, just run around and wait for it to disappear. Uh, when it spins around like this, it can do... It'll do a red attack eventually, so you have to watch out what it does. This wing red attack and parry it, and then get a few shots in here. Now, this lightning attack, it goes forward, and then it comes back around, and it comes forward again. So you can either parry it or you can just strafe left and right to avoid it. This fireball attack doesn't move. I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but it, it just stays like that all the time. So just avoid that. Uh, ice attack, it just showers it. It's, it shoots randomly from the sky. It's not, it doesn't always home towards you. And then you can see the, there's a circle on the ground. It's like a, I don't know, some sort of gravity pole attack, I guess. Which you can just avoid by just staying out of the circle. This upside down tail slash. Uh, lock on, make sure you're in the middle of the screen. And then break lock on to parry it. Here's this uh, spirit bomb attack from the dragon version. You can just send it back after it flashes. It's basically the same as the one when he's in first phase. Okay, moving on to the actual second phase. I know it has one more red attack I didn't touch upon, but it's gonna do it in the main fight here, so you'll see it anyways. It's kinda like the, the tail rush attack, except it's, it does it with its mouth. Um, wing attack, we know what's gonna happen. Parry that, get a few shots in, and then just back away. Make sure you don't touch the firebomb. All right, this sword attack, you can just parry it or you can block it. If you block it, it won't do chip damage. It's just regular melee attack. Alright, here's the red attack with the mouth. Can't really see it really well here because it does this really annoying thing where it just spins on top of... Like, the dragon flies on top of you in the circle and then it just does a red attack out of nowhere. So you kind of have to expect it and use your sound cues. Once you down it like this though, the bar goes down extremely slow so you can just keep whacking at the head here and just do straight up HP damage until the bar is almost done and then go in for the crit so you can maximize your damage output on the dragon and shorten the fight for the second phase. See, it does so much damage, it's pretty much almost dead. So... 
Yeah, it's doing this whole regener- Ah, uh, it's not regenerating, it's getting rid of like the white bars on the side. Recovering stamina. Going on to phase 2. Nothing changes. I've never seen any uh, red attack combos. Oh, this spinning rush attack, I guess. You can block it, run out of the way, or parry it. It's doing the sword combo again. Okay. Here is the head rush attack. This one, it's really annoying because sometimes you just straight up dodge it. And if you don't dodge it, you might like dodge into the attack and get grabbed. Here's the spirit bomb, send it back. When you send it back, it always makes the dragon fall like that. So, yeah, if you're close, you can get in some hits. But, you know, there's so much opportunity to get damage, and I'm not too worried about, like, you know, missing out here. So, yeah, here is the the ground explosion attack. See, it follows you. You pretty much just run around the map like that. You don't have to spam dodge like I was doing earlier. Alright, here's a sword swing coming in again. block parry whatever you want the head grab attack I messed up the timing here so I ended up getting grabbed and it does a lot of freaking damage it doesn't one shot but it does a lot of freaking damage here's another spirit bomb all right wait for the flash send it back always it always does this dramatic fall down but I want to show off the the head rush parry so come on stupid dragon Alright, it's doing this ground explosion thing, so just run around. See, you don't have to do the dodge thing. Because <laughs> if you do the dodge thing, it'll start building up your, your stun meter, so be careful about that. Alright, red rush attack, parry it, there you go, that's how you do it. Just stay in front of it, and... Yeah, that one's kind of annoying to, to parry. Your time's up, Yuji. See you later. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this boss, guys. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped. And if it did, hopefully you all will stay tuned for more. But until next time, hope to catch you all later. Homes out.